All right, let's go ahead and go through our review cards. Suffix ed, d, t, or ed, means already happened. Suffix ing means happening now. Suffix s means plural, more than one. Suffix less means without. Whale, wha. Box, x. Jar, j. Balloon, b. Cube, u. Hose, o. Goat, g. Equal, e. Fish, f. Lion, o. Concrete, e. Hook, u. Duck, k. Tooth, u. Hat, h. Overalls, o. Pig, p. Nest, n. Dog, d. Acorn, a. Vest, m. Elephant, e. Sheep, e. Umbrella, a. Uh. Turtle, er. Icicle, i. Shark, sh. Dime, i. Cat, k. Rabbit, er. Tent, t. Sun, s. Monkey, m. Unicorn, u. Chef, sh. Star, r. Kite, k. Butter, er. Octopus, ah. Uh. Doctor, er. Zebra, z. Apple, ah. Uh. Inch, i. Feather, v. Thimble, f. Anchor, k. Wagon, wo. Rose, z. Cake a, bird er, quilt qua, yarn y, cheese ch, dollar er, horse or, bubble bull, staple pull, candle dole, bugle goal, bottle toll. Ruffle, full. Cry, I. Candy, E. Ring, ng. Phone, f. Leaf, E. Thread, E. Eh. Steak, A. Eh. Not, n. Nat, n. Wreath, er. Mouse owl, soup oo. Those are our two new picture cards for today for this lesson. Here's our sight words together. Come, said, could, something, some, have, into, they, don't, do, you, Today, there, was, the, eight, are, full, from, for, tomorrow, push, where, love, to, should, there, what, your, won't, one, would, of, want, were, who, been, says, does, bush, put, to, any, 
by done every many none only people trouble very that's our last word let's go ahead to our lesson for today for this lesson we have a little reader called lost and found this is what you're working on in this little reader some ghost letters N, the gn ghost letter kn and wr with the owl for ou and oo for ou sounds okay so make sure you read these little readers they will help you this is our spelling words for this week. It is spelling list number 11. Uh, make sure you practice these. We went over these the other day. Okay, we have this page. This page, of course, talks about ABC order. Exactly. So now we're putting words in order. Once again, we start with the letter A. Are any of the first letters in any of these words an A? Nope, so we go to B. Oh, here's a B. Any more Bs? Nope. So this one is first. Brisk. C. Oh, here's a C. No more Cs, so it is creek. E. Oh, sorry. A, B, C, D. Here's a D. Any more Ds? Nope, no more Ds. So this is dust is next. D E F. Here's an F. Full ick. Flick. G. Here's a G. Any more G's? Nope. Gr asp. Grasp. G. E F G H. I, J, K, L, here's an L, O, R, K, Lark, L, M, N, oh, here's an M, N, Ask, Mask, N, here's an N, Nest, M, N, O, P, Q, here's a Q, Quack. And S. Slip. Okay, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video to catch up. Going to our spelling sound review. You're going to echo the sound after me when I lay my hand flat and tell me the words or the letters that make that up that sound. Number one, W H. Um, I, I consonant E comma, I final Y. Ng, N G, R. E R E E E comma E final E E comma Y T T final T comma E D U O O or O R D D comma E D Review words number ten bring B R I N G Number eleven Wispy W I S P Y and number twelve Rumble R U M B L E. And your sight words number 13, done. D O N E. 
Number 14, none. N-O-N-E. And number 15, people. P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. Your sentence is toss the bundle onto the table. Capital T. Toss the bundle onto the table, period. That is a command type sentence because you're being told to do something. It still ends with a period. Okay, so if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it to catch up. Echo these words and listen for the sound they all have in common. Out, foul, pout. What sound do they all have in common? The owl sound and what two letters are making that owl sound? O and U. Do you know what the O and U are? OU is something that we have not discussed before. It is called a diphthong. Okay, a diphthong is two vowel sounds, okay, that come together so fast that they are considered to be one syllable, okay? We code diphthongs with arcs. Okay, so now echo these words and listen for the sound they have in common. Soup, wound, and chore. That's kind of a silly word. Okay, because the O-U says what? The oo sound. O-U and this sound are called digraphs, okay? So O-U can be a diphthong, but it can also be a digraph. A digraph is when two letters that come together to make one sound. And we are saying the O sound. So what letter is saying the O sound? The U, so we cross out the O. Okay, so the difference between digraphs and diphthongs is that digraphs are two letters that come together to make only one sound, whereas diphthongs are two vowel sounds that come together so fast that they are considered to be one syllable, okay? So you may have noticed that our mouths move when we say the two sounds of diphthongs. Okay, ow, ow, out. Our mouth moves, right? But they don't move at all during the sound digraph O-U makes, ooh, ooh, our mouth doesn't move, right? This is how you tell the difference between diphthongs and digraphs. We code, okay, so we already coded these words. We already looked at our picture cards for today, so let's go ahead and go to our worksheet. Okay, so our first letter, or our first word, we either have diphthong ow or digraph oo. So what do you think, we have a digraph th right here, but what do you think this is going to say? We can try the oo first. S ooth, I don't know what that is. That's not a word. Or south, south. I know what a south is. Okay, so we code it with a um, arc. The next one, this is going to say y oo, 
Ooh, so we could have with a digraph, cross out the O, it's digraph O, U, and put a macron on the U. Here we have digraph EA. What sound is EA making? M, eel, meal. Making the long E sound, cross out the A. This is a meal. Okay, we have a final stable syllable. Cross out the E. When a vowel is followed by a consonant, I code it with a breathe. This C is followed by an A, so that means I put a K back on the C, and now I can say this word as k at tull cattle. And this is a group of cattle, which is a group of cows. Okay, here's a V, C, C, V pattern with a combination E, R, R, also coded with an arc. We separate, put the division line in between the two consonants. When my vowel is followed by a consonant, I code it with a breathe. Now I can say this word as b -ut -ter, butter. Okay. And my ghost letter right here, K-N, cross out the K, and I just say the N part. My vowel is followed by a consonant, code it with a breathe. N, ot, not. Go to your paragraph. A suffix is an ending like s, ing, ed, or less that is added to a root word. The meaning of a word with a suffix is not the same as the meaning of the word without a suffix. Name a suffix. Well, you can name either one of these, right? Those are all suffixes that we have learned about. A suffix is added, that's the answer to question seven, a suffix is added to a, well, is added to a root word. A word has the same meaning with a suffix as it has without one. So the meaning of a word with a suffix is not the same as the meaning of a word without one, so no. Okay, you need to pause the video to catch up, you may. Make sure you do the back, code and read the words, answer the questions, read your paragraph, prove your answers, and that's it for today. Thank you, have a great day.